Hello everyone and welcome back to Baking with Jimmy. Uh, today what I'm going to share with you is my yogurt and suriyari biscuits which is your ladyfinger biscuits. So for this one here what we're going to need is a nice large bowl and we're also going to need two cups of thick yogurt. The best yogurt that I find to use is your jana because it's already been drank, uh, strained. If you don't use this brand here and it's quite watery you will need to drain the water out of it. So two Two cups of yogurt goes into your bowl. And then into the bowl, we're also gonna add one tin of sweetened condensed milk to that as well. And then we're gonna use a hand mixer to blend all this together and combine this. Okay. So using a hand mixer today, we're gonna use that. And we're just going to combine all of the condensed milk and the yogurt. Make sure that it is incorporated properly in the mixture. Okay, so once that's thoroughly mixed through, we'll just grab the scraper. And to that, we're just going to wipe down the around it. And to that, what we're going to need is a quarter cup of hot water and a tablespoon of gelatine. So a quarter cup of water and a tablespoon of gelatine. And what we need to do is make sure that we thoroughly mix the gelatine into the water. Make sure it's not lumpy and it's a nice fluidy paste. And then using our hand mixer, we're going to pour that into the yogurt and the condensed milk. But when you're doing this, you will need to be mixing this at the same time. Otherwise, it will start to set because our yogurt is cold. So slowly pour that in and mixing at the same time. You might need to do it in three batches to make sure that we incorporate all that properly into the yogurt. Okay, we're also going to need, a, um, this is a vanilla paste, uh, which I have found it's beautiful, it's really strong and you're going to need two tablespoons of that. It's called Halela. You can find that in Coles, Woolworths, wherever you shop. do with this is we need to pop it into the fridge for about 10 to 15 minutes and then what we're going to do is get our tin ready with our biscuits so then we can pour this over so we want this to thicken up a little bit because it is a little bit runny when you put it in the fridge trust me it will start to thicken up straight away okay so i've popped the yogurt mixture into the fridge so it can thicken up a little bit so then we can layer it with the thing with the lady biscuits in a small saucepan, what we're going to need is 300 mils of cream and we need to pop this onto our cooktop so that it can heat up. As soon as you see that's hot, we've got to switch that off straight away. So what we're making now is the ganache for the top of this cake. So we need to get that going straight away. We're also going to need a block of cooking chocolate. It's the baking chocolate. It's a 70% cocoa one, which I find is a lot better for using for ganaches. I've tried all the other ones and they don't really work as well. So break that up, which I've already broken it up in the bag. I find it easier. If you have bits like this, just break them all up and put them in there. Also in here, what we're going to need is a tablespoon of honey as well. 
So that can go, oops, it's a bit more than a tablespoon. So we can pop the honey into the chocolate and we'll just see how our milk is going over here. So we need to make this hot. Once that's hot, then we're gonna pour that over the chocolate and we're gonna let that sit. And then we're gonna mix that through to make our bread. And then we're just gonna set that aside. Okay, so just wait and see how we go with this cream. Okay, so our cream is hot. So as soon as it gets hot, we switch it off. We're gonna pour that over the chocolate. At this stage, you're probably tempted to stir this, but I don't want you to touch it. So what we're gonna do here is we're actually warming up the chocolate and then we're gonna mix it through with a little whisk. So we'll just leave that aside for a couple of minutes so the chocolate gets nice and warm. And then over here, what I'm using today is a round tin. You can actually use a square tin. Make sure that it comes out. Um, but today I'm gonna use a round one, which is a cheesecake tin. So what we need is a piece of greaseproof paper. Put that over the top of your tray base. Push it down and close it, and that's lined. And then what you can do after is you can cut the edges around. We're also going to need a piece of greaseproof paper, which I'll just cut in half the right length and then fold it up. And that's going to go around the outside of our tin. Okay, let's go back to this chocolate. As you can see now, it is starting to melt. And we'll just leave that a couple more seconds and then we'll start to whisk through the chocolate, okay? We've also got two shots of coffee here. I've got a coffee machine, so I've done two shots. If you don't have a coffee machine, just use instant coffee uh, with a little bit of water and then dilute it. I've also got three quarters of a cup of milk, which is also gonna go into here. And then just mix that together. If you want to add some liqueur to this, you can, it's totally up to you, but this one here, I'm not adding any alcohol to it. Okay, so what I've got here is our lady biscuits, or Savignardi biscuits. I've cut these ones here, I actually purchased at Woolies and Coles have them. So what I've done here is I've actually cut them with a knife in half whilst they're still in the bag. I just find that way it's easier to cut and it prevents them from cracking as well. Okay. We'll take them out of there. So what we're going to do is we're going to line our base around the outside of our tin. Like this. And we're going to dip them into the coffee and milk. But don't leave, don't leave them in there too long. So they're virtually in and out. Okay, so then I've also put some on the base here as well. So we can sort of hold the ones that I'm doing around. So this is going to be like... Once we pull the ring off, it's actually gonna be like a little effect around the yoga cake. So just keep going with this until you do all the base. And then once the base is done, then we're gonna start adding that yogurt mixture that I've got in the fridge. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna stir in the cream into the chocolate. So I'll just give you a little look at how to do that. So you can see that the chocolate is slowly starting to come together with that warm milk. And all you're doing with a whisk is just stirring the chocolate into the cream. And it will start to turn into a ganache. And then we're going to set this aside. I'm going to let this cool down. So once we've finished all the layers with the um, biscuits and the yogurt, this is going to go on the top of it. So it's quite runny now and we can't really use this. So you probably need to mix this through about I don't know, a couple of times just until we get all those chocolate bits all melted. If you find that it's not melting, just pop this in the microwave for a couple of seconds and it will melt the chocolate down faster for you. Okay, so we'll just let that rest aside and then we'll go back to that soon. So over here, what I have, so see how now that yogurt mixture is starting to set, get a whisk or a spoon. And just give it a little bit of a stir just like that okay and that will thicken because it does have gelatine in there so now we've laid our base of our tin our cheesecake tin 
So I've got the biscuits around it and the bottom layer. And then what we need to do is spoon some of this yogurt mixture. You can use a ladle or a big spoon for this, it's up to you. So we're gonna cover all the biscuits on the base. And then we're gonna continue with another layer of biscuits and keep going until you finish all of your mixture and all of your biscuits. So layer by layer. You start from one end, don't leave them in too long. Dip and place. Okay, so I've done the second layer of biscuits. You can see that it's starting to seep through the biscuits. That's exactly what we want because that's gonna hold it together once it sets. So then we repeat now again with another layer of yogurt and then biscuits on top. So just repeat the process one more time. This will be our final layer of yogurt. So if you have some left over, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to construct some single ones in a glass if you wanna just have separate single ones as well. Layer of yogurt through there. And then repeat again with those biscuits and this will be your final layer of biscuits on top. So push them down, that's okay. Okay, so we finished that layer. What I actually done was I actually put this in the fridge just so that it could set a little bit so that our chocolate didn't seep through that. Our chocolate now is at the right temperature to pour over the top without melting the yogurt filling. And all you're doing is just pouring that over the top. This is also like a glue, like an egg, to hold it, all the biscuits together. So that's what we do with that. And then you're gonna decorate it. You can decorate it with whatever you like. What I've got here is some strawberries. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this set a little bit in the fridge. If you see little bubbles, just use a knife and just prick that. Once it has set a little bit, then just decorate it with some strawberries or some orange or whatever you like, berries, anything that you like. So put this in the fridge. This needs to be made the night before. It needs to set overnight to make sure that it's cold right through. As you can see here, I have some leftover yogurt mixture. I made another shot of coffee here as well. Um, and I've got leftover biscuits. So if you've got nice little glasses, I'll show you how to put one together. So dip that into your milk mixture. I'm gonna pop that on the bottom of your cups or your glass cups then what we're going to do with this one here is we're going to add a few flakes of chocolate bits uh, this is the lint one so just a few on the bottom of those so you can get quite creative here if you like you can add some Kahlua into your milk mixture if you're making this for adults just give that a little bit of a stir so coffee, milk, and a little bit of Kahlua. Then what we're going to do here is I've got some of that yogurt mix left. Pour a little bit over the top. I'll just grab a spoon, sorry. Just a little bit more. So just keep using up all your biscuits until you finish with that. Grab some of that chocolate, pour some over the top of that, and get your strawberry, pop that in the fridge, and that is a quick little dessert cup for you. And whatever you've got remaining, just make some little glasses, put them in the fridge and let them set overnight. If you'd like the recipe for this, please go onto my baking page, my Facebook baking page, Baking with Dimmy. Um, please like, subscribe and share this with everybody um, to see the full video. Thank you for sharing this with me today.